Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Apple Dumplings in Sauce. It's getting cold, it's rainy and it's horrible and I'm going to show you how to make a nice warm wintry dessert which just screams of comfort food. The ingredients are at the recipe box below. We're using some Granny Smith apples because they're nice and tart. I've just peeled and cored them, cut them into six pieces each with some yogurt. I'm using flavoured yogurt here for our yogurt dough but you can use any yogurt that you like. Brown sugar, cinnamon, there's our apples to show you what I was using to start with and we've got some sparkling apple juice so that's just going to be poured over for our sauce we've preheated our oven to 180 degrees and now we're just going to make our yogurt dough so just make a well in the center pour on as much yogurt as you need to make a soft pliable dough and we're going to mold this dough around our apples now it's not going to stick to you it's a low fat yogurt but it is sweetened so bear that in mind if you happen to be using a unsweetened yogurt you may have to adjust the sweetener accordingly mix that all around okay once you've got to that stage you're going to have to get your hands all dirty and mix it all up eventually it won't stick to your hands it'll be really quite a almost a non-stick dough i suppose now we have a whole playlist of yogurt we showed you this several years ago it's so versatile you will not believe it now we're going to divide this into 18 pieces okay we just spray our bowl and put it to one side it's a heat proof dish just get our brown sugar mix it with our cinnamon and we're just going to toss our apples briefly in this mixture don't leave it soaking in it because it will make the brown sugar and cinnamon turn into a sort of a syrup and we don't really want to do that okay we've just greased our bowl lightly just put that to one side we've just got a little extra flour in a bowl and we are going to dust our hands and make little flat discs you don't need to roll this out just flatten it out with your hand don't get it too floury because it'll make it too sort of doughy pop our apple in there until it's coated in our brown sugar and our cinnamon that's all you need to do put it in there and then mold our yogurt dough around the outside of it doesn't have to be completely encased it's better if it is but don't get too serious with it and then we just put that into our bowl and continue with the rest flatten out our disc make a few at a time if it's a bit tidier for you into our brown sugar into our disc mold it all around and just pop it into our bowl okay now we've just rolled them all out make it a little bit quicker pop our apples in our little discs they don't have to be fancy truly just pop them in any old how we have showed you an apple duff video which is pretty similar but we use puff pastry for that let's mold it all around and continue with the rest lay them in any sort of pattern that you like it's not really going to matter much because they're going to puff up and get a little bit different when they're cooked and they're also going to have their juicy sauce on them as well okay there are our apple dumplings waiting for their topping now they aren't going to win any beauty contests at this stage but they are going to be delicious so just open up our sparkling apple juice and just pour enough over the top to sort of cover it it's going to get a bit fizzy because of the apple juice being carbonated and then we're not going to waste this leftover brown sugar and cinnamon we're just going to sprinkle it on the top as the sauce is absorbed the little dumplings are going to puff up and they'll stick out of the sauce and this is be like a little crowning glory for it so just sprinkle it all on top like so and then it's into 180 degrees celsius oven until they're cooked really it depends on the size of the dish that you're using i'm looking at about 35 to 45 minutes so into the oven we go okay 35 minutes later it's hot and bubbly from the oven you stick a sharp knife into it you can see that the apple is quite cooked now the little dumplings around them are not doughy at all and we're just going to let that sit and serve it with some custard or some ice cream later i hope you enjoy this little cooking demonstration of cheeky richo's apple dumplings in syrup if you would like to see more interesting recipes and ideas just check out our cheeky richo channel and don't forget to please subscribe and do come back and visit us again soon we have so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos every week and thank you very much for watching have a lovely day okay it's time to serve our gorgeous apple dumplings in the sauce we've got some homemade custard here and I have showed you how to make that in a different video we just take some of our dumplings with some of our sauce which is actually thickened and there you have it Cheeky Richo's apple dumplings with homemade custard this is absolutely divine i will show you what it looks like inside i can't wait to get into it i've actually allowed it to cool a little bit so it's not going to burn my mouth but still obviously nice and hot without being like lava <laughs> oh, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> you don't mind winter when you can eat food like this cheeky richards apple dumplings and sauce thanks for watching